You got me. <laughs> this is why I can't hang out with her. <laughs> How well do you know me? Not very well. Well, huh? that sucks for you. <laughs> Hi, my name is Freud Gutierrez. And I am Madeleine Patch. And we're we playing, playing How Well Do You Know Your Co Star with, with Marie Claire. Claire. I'm ready. All right, first question If I had to be a book or a movie character and live that character's life, who would I be? A. Tombo, Kiki's Delivery Service. B. Ash Ketchum, Pokemon. Or C. Miguel, Coco. I was trying to watch his face while he said it so that I could see <laughs> if there was a clue. Mm -hmm. Pokemon's also like a film or TV show. It's not just the cards. And it's also a TV show. Copy and never movie seen. Series. Copy never what? seen. Um, and I, I've not seen Coco, but it is on my list. I've only Brilliant on this movie. list seen Kiki's Delivery Service. So I'm going to go with Kiki's Delivery Service, but I don't actually know what your real answer would be. <gasps> it was Kiki's Delivery Service. Oh, yeah. I love that. Because I want to live in that little town. Oh, so I cute. love Miyazaki films. They're oh, literally my favorite. They're so good. They're so like a, like a cup of like warm tea right? on a cold day. But, like, yes. That town in particular, and he's like the little boy with the bike. I know, he's so yeah, cute. Yeah. Exactly. Wow, Look one for one. <laughs> Which board game am I really good at? Now, I think. Uh, I, let me give you the. Oh. Maybe I'll have a tell. Give me a, give me a hint. A Scrabble. B, Monopoly, or C, Bananagrams? There is no tell, because you said all three the exact same way. <laughs> exactly. um, okay, here's what I'm gonna say first of all. I don't think there's a board game that Mads is not. <laughs> That's what I wanna say here. So already, trick question. <laughs> trick question. What is Bananagrams? I've never heard of that. Are you it's, kidding? It's too... Are you kidding me? It's Bananagrams, C. I'm locking in C. Damn it! You got me. <laughs> Bananagrams is like Scrabble on steroids. That must be like a Pacific Northwest thing. It is I've absolutely not it. a Pacific Northwest thing. It is like, but it's literally like a, a young, more youthful version of Scrabble. It's like a little sack of letters that you just like do it whatever you want. I'm bringing it with me to New York. We're gonna play in New Never York. Never heard of it. We're playing in New York. All right, what is my guilty pleasure movie or TV show? Love is Blind, Are You the One, or Perfect Match? Can I ask follow-up questions? Yeah. How many seasons of Are You The One have you seen? And what network is it on? If only I knew the answer to that so question. Obviously it's not Are You The One. Okay, mm -hmm. I don't even know what Perfect Match is, but I love Love Is Blind and you feel like a man after my own heart, so I'm gonna go with A, Love Is Blind. Oh, she really does know me. This is bad. I'm, I'm guessing. This I'm is bad. <laughs> she's, she's killing it. If I could eat one food for the rest of my life, what would it be? Pasta, salad, or tofu? Now, this is rude, all right? Because here's the thing, pasta or salad could both be non-vegan. Okay, obviously it's all vegan. The vegan versions of these foods. If sure, I could eat sure. the vegan version of any of these foods, what would it be? <sighs> I don't know. He was just trying to catch me in a lie there, you see that? I don't know. You know what she had almost every day in Slovakia? Can I, can I expose you like this? Yes, expose. Pea soup. Right? No! What? I had lentils and spinach. You didn't have like pea split pea soup? Pea soup? Where did you come up with that? They gave you pea soup every day, no, I remember. No, it was lentils. It was yellow okay. lentils, like, like curry mm. lentils and spinach. I'm gonna have to go with tofu, but I'm sure it's not. <laughs> Who would choose tofu? No. I love pasta. tofu. I like tofu. That was my I... second one. I should have gone I'm with like, pasta. I love a little like bow tie pasta. Ooh, Ugh. yummy. You know what? Tofu. Tofu is too obvious. I tofu have is too it. obvious. Also, yeah. tofu is not really like a, a meal. It's just like tofu. All right. So, what was my first on-screen role? A. Disney Channel. Casey Undercover. B. Nickelodeon. Charlie on Bell and the Bulldogs. Or C. Cartoon Network. Okay. The only one that has a character on it is Nickelodeon. I mean, Charlie's a character, right? Not Bella and the Bulldogs. Like, so obviously that's the one because there's a character in there. Yeah. I mean. For I, sure. Otherwise, like, were you? Who were you in Casey Undercover and Goosebumps? I will say, I did. I did drop a hint earlier. I was like, Yeah. Oh first, yes, you I did. Totally Brack. Did. He said Brack. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. it's B. Nickelodeon. Yeah, yeah. I was Charlie. talking about Brack. But you also like put Charlie on Bell. I mean, like that's very clearly the answer. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Wow. Thank you. You're welcome. It's three for three. I, I like to you. win. <laughs> if I could interview anyone alive or dead, who would I choose? Frida from ABBA, Julia Roberts, hey. or Myth? Correct. <laughs> ding, 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 you have a winner. Absolutely. Woo! I'm the world's biggest Abba fan. She is, she is. All right, number four, if I could eat one food for the rest of my life, what would it be? Pizza, <laughs> burgers, or sushi? Let's go. Okay, well, I know it's not burgers. 
<laughs> I had eaten so many burgers on set, and I was disgusted. And there was once, there was one part where I was like, "You have to get ketchup on your face for this joke to work for you." Have to, and he was like, "I've eaten too many burgers. I can't do it anymore." So I'm certain it's not burgers. I think it would be pizza. Mm. I think it's my answer is a pizza, but obviously it's wrong. So it's I'm sushi. so glad she's finally gotten one wrong. It's sushi, y'all. If I could use only one app for the rest of my life, which app would it be? Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok? I feel like it has to be Instagram. Correct. Okay, okay. Great. Correct. We've Correct. had lots of conversations about this. Phew. Did we? Well, what, what are my views also, on Twitter? I love that we're still calling it Twitter. Let's never call it the Oop. other name. Oop. If I could interview anyone, alive or dead, who would I choose? A, Beyonce, B, David Bowie, or C, John Lennon? I think I'm starting to know your tells. Oh no. I think I'm starting to know your tells because I think I it's like I think it's B, David Bowie. Am I right? From your face? Yo. Am I right? Because you do this little thing whenever you say the answer, it's like a little tiny, like tiny little bit of a twitch at the left side of your mouth. This is why I can't <laughs> hang out with her. This is why I can't take her anywhere. <gasps> Sally! Am I right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I actually don't know any of the answers, but he's, he's just, you, can, <sighs> you can't, this man can't lie. I can, you know. Oh my gosh, Madeline, you are a human lie detector. Right? She is. No one's ever played this game with this strategy before, and I'm so impressed. <laughs> Wait, really? Okay, well, people probably actually like know these answers, but they're like, these are not conversation topics we covered at work. They're really not. They're no, not. No, we were like, what's your deepest fear and how can we how can we help salvage yeah. that? Yeah. It was so and much like, more deep than this. What, what is your deepest wound? Yeah, and let's talk about your childhood trauma. Yeah, yeah. And what's your relationship like right now? And also, how are you like, feeling? What are you, are you having safe? for lunch? Yeah. Yeah. It was a lot of that. Yeah. We had like zero time to get to know each other and we had to get to the core of each other like very yeah. quickly because he didn't start shooting strangers until like three weeks into the shoot. Yeah, so we, we really had to like make sure that the relationship felt real in yeah. any way. So we were like, so you're okay. like, here are all of our childhood wounds. Yes, let's go. <laughs> I trust you. <laughs> what is my guilty pleasure movie or TV show? Are you the one? Which is why I asked you that question. Selling Sunset with Love in the Wild. I think it's A or B, first of all. You asked me a question about Are You the One? Mm -hmm. Because you're a fan of Are You The One. Maybe. She was dropping hints. Maybe. Or maybe I was throwing a red herring in there. Maybe I'm actually not wrong. Maybe no, I've never seen the show. Knowing you, it could be either way. Oh. I feel like I feel like you would watch Selling Sunset, though. Is that your answer? Have you? Is that your answer? Final answer is... <gasps> I'm going to go with A, just because you dropped the hint. Nope, it's C. Love in the Wild, best show on Netflix, oh, baby. Oh, no we way. We have one season. It's Damn. such a deep cut. It's from 2010. Well, I well, really smashed that. I feel really like did. I crushed. You know what? I, I did a valiant effort. I, you did. I did. You did. Well, thank you guys for watching. And don't forget to watch The Strangers, Chapter 1, only in theaters, May 17th.